And that is pretty much how I picture, test, clean most things. Let's move on inside and get less in this stuff. So welcome to the next day. Got the camera, got the SD card. Let's transfer to the laptop. It's just gonna load up everything we took the other day. Shift and drag, and let go. So we took, what was that, 187 pictures yesterday. Transfer them within a few seconds and we're good to go. And then if I did want these pictures on my iPad and my, on my phone, I've also got Google Drive as well. Just open my drive and I can just click and drag over to my Google Drive and then it's on my laptop, it's on my phone, it's on my iPad so I can list from wherever I am. But for today, and I solely at the moment list on the laptop before it was just on the iPad again, transferred. It seems a lot quicker. And of course, I'm not just an eBay reseller, I'm an online reseller. So we're not just relying on eBay. I've got eBay open, but also Zipsell. Yes, I genuinely use it. People ask me all the time, do you actually use Zipsell or are you just being paid? No, I was paid and I also use it literally every day. So we're gonna open up a Zipsell. There's my front page. I've got eBay open as well. I think there's one or two items that will just go on eBay. Got Google open and also got YouTube analytics open because scrolling down, let's have a little look. Not subscribed, 48. 0.4% of you not subscribed watching this channel in the past 28 days. So good time now, down below, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell as well. How many people have hit the bell? 17.1% of you that are subscribed have hit the bell. And that is me, done and dusted. Everything from Wednesday that I bought is now listed online and now we just got to wait, we'll give it a week. So it's Thursday today, the 26th. I'll see you in June next Thursday. We'll see how much of it from my £82.50 has sold. Is it a get rich quick scheme or is this for the longer term? Let's find out. And I'm back. It's uh, it's not a week later. It's, uh, it's not two weeks later. Three weeks later, I'm not very organized. Been taking a bit of a break, but we're back three weeks later after what I've listed what has sold within them three weeks. We've only got three items that are unsold up till now. Let's go through what has actually sold. We've got two different platforms. And surprisingly, it's only eBay and Instagram. We've got two subscriber sales, but nothing on Depop, on Vintage or anything. So eBay is still the top dog. We'll start with the broken clock. The one that was working and suddenly it wasn't working, was, wasn't. So I had to sell it as faulty. I know it's me two pounds, so it was a bargain bin uh, item anyway. So it doesn't owe me much well worth the risk, didn't work fully. So I don't know if it's gone to someone that can repair it or not, but it went for 12 pound 74. Obviously the random amount is because I've sent out offers to watches, sent out offers for about 12, 15%. So I've accepted, paid, delivered, and they seem happy with it. So small profit, but with that risk, it was still worth it because I sold it broken. Again, another risk I was willing to take. This was five pounds, I think it was, for this blue box Grand Prix racer, similar to the Tomy. Uh, again, that one wasn't working. This one wasn't working. This one, I put in batteries always, inside out, upside down. But yeah, it wasn't working, it wasn't having it. I think it was something to do with the starter switch. It wasn't clicking on, but um, 16.99. So again, a bit of a fail, but at the time I was thinking, if this is broken, can I still make profit? Yes, I can, and I did. Uh, again, delivered, haven't had any feedback, no return. So I'm guessing they're gonna try and repair it or it's for display or a prop, I'm not sure, but still made profit. Again, if the risk paid off, this would have been 50 to 60 pound. So I'll be doing it again, but so far two out of two I've picked up, both broken. So I move on from broken to refurbished, sort of. I had to revamp them. Remember these lokes, they're in a right state. They looked a bit sorry for themselves, the leather looked thirsty. They just needed a bit of TLC, which I gave. It was four pound for that boot sale. I saw through the muck, through the dirt, through the poor condition, I could see potentially what I could do with them. They came out really nice and they've sold. £39.09, again listed for about, I think it was £42.99. Again, sent out offers to watches, someone accepted. They've been delivered. I've even got good feedback as well. There you go, good feedback. Very nice, thumbs up. And that was a very nice sale. Always, when you're picking up items, see what you can potentially do with them because someone else maybe could have picked them up. Oh, they're a bit worn out. I'll put them down, won't even bother missed out on potential profit. Well I've done that pair of footwear, there was these. This was probably sale of the boot sale. The Grensons paid 15 pound for these. They were asking, there was 22 on a tag. They then said 20, she came down from 15 without me saying anything. 
15 pounds i was willing to pay the 20 because i knew they were a strong brand in really good condition unboxed but the condition was really nice just had to touch up the toe and we got 85 pounds plus postage delivered happy with them no return awesome sale i always look out for grenson because more often than not they're worth good money another item i didn't have to touch at all really just had to make sure it was working was the projector lights worked the projector worked front and back this went locally sold for 40 pounds thought i could get a little bit more but their sales were a bit slow i paid 10 into 40 quick sale they lived locally as well so 40 quid straight away easy peasy uh, literally had to do nothing to it just a bit of a wipe down with a baby wipe and that was it didn't have to order a bulb didn't have to order a belt it was in its box so i didn't have to worry too much with the packing it was already protected with the polystyrene this was he put the outer box in another box padded it out i think this was in the first week this sold so sold really quick another item that just needed a wipe down literally get it out wipe it down picture it sell it little life cross country s2 baby toddler carrier backpack thingy my bob the better the brand the better the price but even bog standard like mother care ones if it's on the back and holds the toddler then they seem to sell quite well for 49.99 50 pounds plus postage sold on the second week so again nice and quick within the first cycle we're technically still in the first cycle so the three items that are unsold still got another week for the first cycle but paying i think this was eight or ten pounds was it again i can't remember <laughs> but i know it was no more than ten pounds how much on the baby carry, mate? Home, mate? Eight, yeah. Literally wipe, picture, put it away, send it out, delivered. I think I got feedback as well. And yeah, just another strong price. Perfect for the summer months as well that we're in now. If this was in winter, it might linger around for a bit longer. So yeah, again, another strong in-season item. Then the last one is the one I nearly lost. My fault. Put it down when I was buying the clock and the stamp and i've just walked off completely forgot about it i couldn't believe it luckily it was still there again another 10 pounds paid for this really nice double headed lamp i've picked these up since i first started full time back in 2016 when i was just doing vintage furniture lighting things like that i always pick these up so as i got a bit of age to them the double headed lamp people seem to really like these and they've kept their price as well if anything they've got a bit stronger as well especially if you can get like um habitat ones they got up to nearly 100 pound this one was plain i couldn't see a brand or anything it was bit more of a basic one there's a few um cosmetic issues actually packed and sent this out today uh my 10 pound has turned into 55.99 so obviously they haven't received it yet i don't know if they're happy with it i'm pictured all the bits and bobs as closely as i could and as clear as i could so hopefully everything's all good and the two instagram sales i know obviously i've got a bit of a following so i can sell things on instagram or privately every now and then so no this isn't the norm but we've got the stoozy top i think i was pronouncing it stuzzy I still want to call it Stuzzy, but apparently it's Stoozy. Uh, we've got the top with the fish on it. Carp, cod, I don't really know what it was. Don't know my fish. But this went to Talia. So thanks so much, Talia. We agreed. Subscriber special, £20 plus postage. Uh, straight to PayPal, no fees. I don't mind taking a lower amount, especially for subscribers. You help me out. I help you out. Everyone's happy. So yeah, thanks again, Talia. I uh, hope you're happy with it. And the second one was the stamp. Again, didn't know nothing about it it was this vintage it looked quite cool made in england so i took a two pounds punt on it along with the other bits as well i knew if i didn't make any money on the stamp i knew the lights would be worth money when they sell and the clock as well but again cheryl got in contact offered me 10 pounds plus postage so i think it was like 12.99 in total uh, again straight to paypal no fees cheryl's got it she's happy with it i'm happy with the sale so yeah thanks again cheryl and talia so if you are ever interested, if you see something in the background or if I'm picking it up, yeah, if it's not quite listed yet, then send me a message on Instagram or my email address is down below or Facebook. Get in contact down below. If it's already been listed on eBay or wherever, then obviously you can contact me there, do a deal on the platform because if it's already listed, then obviously, yeah, it's got a sale on there. So that's everything that's sold. We've got three items that I said haven't sold. So we've got the Stoozy bottoms the one that's the ones that i fixed woo willy uh, i've had a lot of offers uh, some lower offers that like people keep sending me 20 pound offers i did reject one at 25 i think i've listed them at 40 I'm trying to get the sale at about 30 they only have fiver but um again it's within its first cycle so it's still early days i reckon i can still get the 30 i think someone on vintage did actually offer me the 30 and then they just disappeared off the face of the earth um, so yeah i'm surprised they haven't sold yet because it's quite unusual to get stoozy uh, bottoms stuzzy stoozy whatever it's called um so yeah i'm confident they'll still sell quite quickly just looking for that sale 
an item that I've probably priced a bit too much is the Merc jacket. Still for sale, unsold. I think I started it a bit higher than they usually go for. I thought they were worth a lot more than they were. Originally, I thought they were worth sort of 40, 50, 60 maybe. But um, this one wasn't made in England. I thought it was England, but um, it was just Taiwan or somewhere like that. And they tend to go for about 25, 30. Uh, I'm still hoping for that sort of 35, 40 mark. Uh, lots of what views and watches, just no offers to accept or anything yet. Owes me 12, so I paid up a little bit for only an item that goes for about 25, 30. But with my good photos and I'm hoping someone will come along at the 30, 35 ish mark. Uh, and then obviously I've seen one since actually in a charity shop and they were asking 15. So I knew from this experience that they only go for about that much. So 15 is too much and I could just leave that and not waste my money or I could have still made profit technically but with the fees and that, my time it's taken to picture list it, it wouldn't be worth it. The last one is the lights. Really hard to picture and sort of, yeah, it's quite a difficult listing to make because there's no brand. I wasn't really sure on the style, what it was called. Um, untested as well, obviously. Obviously quite hard to find a price as well. Prices are up and down. I couldn't find the exact model, make or model online or on sold or on Etsy or anywhere. So I've literally, Pictured, pictured them as good as I can, sold them as untested. So obviously that's not buyer confidence, which doesn't help. And I've sort of made up a price as well. So they're still unsold. So listed on eBay still for 85.99. So obviously chancing it higher. I always say start high and then you can come down from there. Could have listed them at like 30, 35, got a quick sale. Cause they only owe me four pounds, two pound each. Uh, but then my bonds have sold them. They might still go for 50, 60 pounds. I don't know. So in the first cycle, Something like this might take a bit longer anyway. So we'll give it sort of three months, see how we get on from there. If I don't receive any offers or anything, then I'll have to reduce the price. But like they only owe me four pounds in the first cycle. I'm not worrying just yet. So of my 80 plus pounds uh, I spent on that Wednesday morning, I've got 21 pounds in items that I've bought and are still sitting there unsold. So not too bad actually, really good for the first cycle. And my total before fees, on the items that I've sold, £329.80 before fees. Obviously, they've done two Instagram ones, no fees, but all the others they sold on eBay. So, sort of 11 point something percent plus 1% promoted listing plus 20% on that promoted listing VAT and the fees. It's a bit messy, but £329.80 in turnover before fees from my £80. Still got free to sell. Yeah, free to sell. That's a really good morning. Just an Ikea bag full and then that lamp. Yeah, happy days. Right, I best get back out in the field and buy some more.